My name is Justin Witt, and I'll be demonstrating how to re-spool a push-button fishing reel with new fishing line. Now, there are a few reasons why to re-spool a fishing reel, whether it be for different fishing conditions or just because just because the line is old and frayed. Now, the materials that will be necessary for this task will be your fishing pole with a push-button fishing reel, a pair of nail clippers, a lure of any sort, and new fishing line. Now this brings us to our first step in which this is to detach any lure that is attached to the exi existing line. Now to cut it we just use our nail clippers and cut the line to detach the lure and set the lure aside for when we eventually will attach it back on but to the new line. Now the reason why we, used, we did that for the first step is so we can have this free line here and this is a good starting point when we when we when we want to eventually unwind the old line from the spool of the inside of the reel. So this brings us to step two, which is to reel in the excess slack from when we cut the the lure off the uh, the uh, the lure off the old line. So we want to also reel in the excess slack to clear the eye holes too. These are the eye holes, and you want to get as as less as least slack as you can. So let's go. We'll go ahead and we'll reel on this line. And if you watch the end of the line, and you can see how, as it clears the eye holes, and you're reeling in the line, you want to stop reeling until there's about five inches or so of slack coming from this reel hole right here. So. So about five inches of slack from the reel hole and leave that. The reason is that we why we leave about five inches of slack is so we can easily locate the line as we eventually will disassemble the reel and in in to make it easier to uh, unwind the line from the spool. So this brings us to step three which we will remove the face plate from the reel. Now we locate the face plate, which is right here, and to take it off, all you gotta do is simply unscrew it until it's. You can see the inside of the reel, the silver cap here, with the spool right here. Now, take off the face plate, pull the string through, the five inch string through, and set the face plate aside for when we eventually attach it back on. Now, when you do that, you want to make sure that you do not reel in your five inches of slack that we have left because we still need it to locate we need to easily locate the string so we can unwind from the spool. Now step four will be to unwind it and cut the line from the spool. Now to unwind it and to release the slack we just want we want to press this back button and that way it releases the, the line we can the line can be released. So from there we can just pull out the line and when we pull out the line, we can use any any way we want to. But also, as you're pulling out the line, you want to really make sure that as you're pulling out, do not wrap the line around your finger or your fingers or even your hand. Because this could cut off circulation um, to your hand. and potentially hurt you. So the best way is just to one by one pull the string out just like this so until you get to the end, at the end of the line where there's a knot tied around the spool. So when you see that you want to cut the line. So you just get your nail clippers and you want to get as close as to the line as to the spool as you can and um, and cut the line. Once you cut the line then you can discard uh, the old fishing line, and uh, that, then from there we can now move on to step five, which would be to tie a knot onto the spool. Now, you get your new fishing line right here, and you unwind it a little bit, not too much, just enough, you know, so where you can first tie that first knot, so you don't have fishing line going everywhere. You get you get it, and you wrap the new fishing line around your spool and you can use as much slack as you need and from here as you do this you want to tie a knot 
Now, there are many, many knots out there that you can tie, but the easiest is probably called is the triple knot, which basically is you tie it three times and you pull. So as I do it here, I wrap the line one and around the existing line and put the line through this hole and pull and tighten. I'll do that two more times. So pull this line through the hole and tighten. Now one more time. Now we can pull this end of the line and it's tight. And so we have this existing line, this slack, existing slack right here, and we can cut that to make it so that it doesn't kink up or not as we uh, wind on uh, the new fishing line. So as we cut that, we now can move on to step five, or excuse me, step six to begin reeling in the new fishing line. Now, the new fish the what you want to do is uh, you want there's a pin that is inside right here in order to get it out uh, all you gotta do is simply just turn the reel and there's a pin that pops out and this pin catches the line and it and it wraps around as I turn as I turn it wraps the the uh, line around the spool now when you uh, want to when you first do this you want to physically wrap the line around the spool with your hands so that it it won't so when you start reeling in from this from this handle it won't slip and um, it can catch on so well, you want to wrap the line around the spool about five, 10 or 15 times you know to get it tight but you want to make sure that you're wrapping the line the correct way around the spool now to do that you can easily tell if you just turn the reel like that and as it's turning if you see the silver cap which way it's turning as it whichever way that silver cap turns that's what that's what way you need to line your uh, uh, your fishing line around the spool so now that we've done that we can now go ahead and wrap the line 10 or 15 times around the spool you know just so that this is so that it doesn't slip and it gets tight so now you know if I pull it and it doesn't slip or pull, come out then that's when I know that I've wrapped it around enough times so from there we can use the handle to reel in the line so we want to take our left hand just because this is a right handed fishing pole and uh, you want to take your index finger and your thumb and you want to grab the line like so and hold it right here and to, so that when you hold it, it's tight right here, and you hold it firm between your two fingers, and it's tight. This way, it goes in as is, is, as I turn the reel, it wraps around the, the spool evenly and flush. So that little pin here, you put that line behind the pin, and as you do that, while holding it firmly between your two fingers, you can start to reel in very slowly. As you as you get as you feed new line from from your from your uh, from your uh, from your spit spivel, reel in, and then we can do that. Now move on to step seven. Now step seven is to uh, reel in the correct amount of line. Now when you do this, it's uh, it depends on the fishing, the type of fishing that you're going to do, whether it be long casting fishing or just short casting fishing. Well, in our case, we want to just do short casting fishing because we don't want to reel in a whole bunch of line and not end, it, end up using it. So we're just doing short casting fishing. So whenever I feel, I mean, you feel that it's a good amount of line that we've reeled in, then we can go ahead and stop reeling. So this seems good about right here. So when we do that, we want to um, cut the line. We want to cut the line after we've felt that we have uh, enough line uh, on the spool. So when you cut the line, you want to make sure that, again, now that you have another five inches of slack hanging out coming from the silver cap. So 
about five inches, and we can go ahead and cut you cut it using the uh, nail clippers. Okay, so we can set that this line over here, and now we can move on to step eight. Now step eight is to attach the faceplate back onto the reel. So get your faceplate like so, and you want, from the five inches that we left, you can easily locate the string, and you get the string, and the, and one end from the in, you put the string through the hole from the inside out, stick it through, and then pull the string, and then screw back on the faceplate onto the reel. So once we've done that, we have the faceplate back on, we can um, now uh, put the string through the eye holes, through these eye holes out here. So in order to do that, we just want to release slack, we just push the button, and it releases slack. So you pull just enough slack, you know, to go through all three eye holes, then turn the, uh, the reel so that the pin pops out, and so no more slack can be fed. And so... Find the end of the string and put it through all three eye holes here. Third one. So once you put it through all three, all three eye holes, you're now ready to move on to the next step, which is step nine, and to uh, attach the lure to the end of the line. So you get your lure, and you attach, you put it through the hole here, and tie a knot. Now you can simply, you can do the triple knot again, or any type of knot you prefer but we'll do the triple knot here so again stick it through the hole here one we'll do it two more times two and three pull that pull this in to tighten it and cut the excess slack off with the nail clippers now we've got the lure attached now we can move on to step 10 which is to see if you properly re-spooled the fishing reel by casting it so now in order to test it we we'll just simply cast it and to cast it you push this back button here and you release it, slack will come out. So, when you push the back button, you can simply see that it casts. And just reel in. And if you see that it's smooth, the cast is smooth and it, just, it doesn't just stop or kink up, then that's when you know you've properly respooled the line. Now, if you've cast, if you cast it, if you cast it and all of a sudden it stops or it kinks up and it, the, the line doesn't properly come out anymore, then that's when you know that you have uh, made an error while we're spooling it. More specifically, probably when we were wrapping the line around the spool or attaching the, the line to the spool. So if you just simply go back in the steps and follow them again, but more uh, with, with more uh, attention, uh, you can correct that. So, um, now, if, but if not, then you have successfully done this. But now, through these steps, uh, you, I've displayed how to properly respool a push-button fish, fishing reel by removing old fishing line and replacing it with new fishing line. Now, you'll not be able to, uh, you'll not be able to uh, do this anytime, place where you need to, whether it be, you know, 
just for this reason or a different or a different fishing condition. But uh, this is how you do it.